Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and in this video, I'll be taking a look at the 2024 Laurel Denise Planner. I've been a fan of Laurel Denise ever since I first saw her planner. It is so unusual, different than all of the other planners that are out there. And I've brought out my last year's horizontal planner to show you some changes that have happened between the 2023 planners and the 2024 ones. I've also got some accessories, some of which are not brand new, but you may not have seen yet because after I did my Laurel Denise review video last year, year, I picked up some accessories later on. So we'll talk about some of these, but let's first of all start with the planner that I chose for 2024. This is last year. The planner that I chose for 2024 is called Lollipop, and it comes in a box like this. I wanted you to see the box. So here is what it looks like in the box. It's so pretty. Even the inside of it is very pretty. So here's what the inside looks like. And then there is tissue paper and a little hot pink little sticker dot here. So you're gonna see a lot of hot pink accents in her accessories. And she, it, I think the hot pink color is the perfect color for her fun personality. So when you open up the tissue paper, your planner will come in some other wrapping, but I've gone ahead and taken mine out. So this one is called Lollipop, as I said. There are some other options also. So we're gonna talk about the vertical planner because I chose vertical this year. And it is a dated planner and the accenting here is yellow gold foiling. It's a landscape orientation planner. And the cover choices that you will have for the vertical planner are evergreen, which is a solid green, ocean breeze, which is a beautiful solid blue, midnight, which is a solid sort of charcoal color, sunrise, and lollipop, this one. So hopefully I have popped those up on the screen so you could see them. And the biggest difference is that, I'm so excited about this, the planner has gotten a little bit bigger. So look at this. It's not that I wanted the planner to be bigger, but the reason for the planner becoming bigger is what I'm a big fan of. So compare last year to this year, it's a little bit taller and it's definitely wider. And I believe the reasoning behind that was so that all of the monthly layouts across the weekly planners would have the same measurements. So people started making sticker kits for the monthly spreads in the Laurel Denise, and what we discovered was that the undated horizontal compared to the dated horizontal had different measurements for that monthly view. And between the dated horizontal and the dated vertical, the measurements were different for the monthly view. So I believe now that all of the monthly planner sizes are going to be the same across these planners, not including the new mini and the project planner, not including those, but including the vertical and horizontal dated planners. All right, so on the inside, look at the beautiful end papers here. Everything's just so fun. And then you've got this nice pocket that has sort of a coated cardstock that feels like it would repel liquid if you needed to. Something cool that I discovered on this is that an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper will fit all the way in here, no problem, with no overhang anywhere. It just fits perfectly. This planner, you guys, comes with two snap-in rulers. They're also bookmarks. So this one has a scalloped edge on it, and if I put it against this green, you can probably see it, but you could draw such a fun little border with that scalloped edge if you wanted to. It says, <laughs> well, let me read this one first because this is pretty funny. Um, this one says, you are here. This one says, you are also here. So you can mark two different places in your planner. Is that not Laurel Denise's personality? I mean, she is so fun and she has done so many videos that really showcase how much fun she and her team have with their company. And so anyway, on this ruler, it has gold accenting. So it is an eight inch ruler. It says Laurel Denise down here at the bottom and it has inches 
in yellow gold. So you can use these as bookmarks, marking two different places in your planner. And I just think they're super clever. There's nothing on this one other than Laurel Denise and you are also here. That is so cool. All right, so then, so you can see this takes up a lot of real estate on your desk, but that is because the whole purpose of the Laurel Denise Planner is for you to be able to see many things at once. And you're gonna see that once we get into the monthly view, which is also the weekly view, hint, hint. So on this first page here, you have a list of 2024 holidays over in this section. And then you have each month of 2024 in a mini calendar with two boxes underneath each month. There's one for goals and one for things to remember. Then over on this side, you have special dates and events. So this is a major master planning area. Very thick cardstock here and coated tabs. The coated tabs were new last year. They used to just be the cardstock without any plastic on them. So it starts with January. It is a calendar year. Now also, new this year, in addition to the fact that this is wider and a little bit taller, and we're gonna go into some of the details about that, but you can also choose whether you have a Sunday start or a Monday start. Is that fantastic? I mean, so many of us are passionate about either a Sunday start or a Monday start. I love a Sunday start. I get confused when I have a Monday start. I can do it once I work with it for a while. But on my monthly calendar, I really like a Sunday start. But here's what's cool. The weekly spread matches. It also has a Sunday start. I have not seen any weekly spreads anywhere that have a Sunday start. Have you? I mean, I think they're mostly all Monday starts on the weekly spread. You might find a Monday start here. Like I know the day designer has a Monday start on the monthly calendar, but look at the weekly calendar. It has us the matching thing. So if you have Sunday here, you will have Sunday here. If you have a Monday start here, you will have a Monday start on the week. So the beauty of this is we have the month in view, the whole month, and now we have Saturday and Sunday split. Last year, Saturday and Sunday shared a column, unless you got the undated. I think they were separate on the undated, but I am much more fond of this, where all of the days have their own box. So in order to do that, she just had to make the planner bigger. She had to. I, I think enough people wanted their Saturday and Sunday to be their own box that it was worth it to just add that extra inch. It's, it's totally worth it. Okay, so at the same time that you can see your monthly view, you can also see your weekly view. So the pages for the weekly views are much shorter. And this is the vertical planner, so each day is lined up in a vertical column. And there are seven days across with a sidebar each week that says to do each week. And I just think this is so cool. And the columns are tiny, so you will want to have a pen that writes tiny. And I do have some suggestions for you. So does Laurel Denise. But if your handwriting is really big, take this into consideration. So in order to have everything in view, that's the way it needs to be. Then look what's new here. On the back of the last week, you have habit trackers for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven habits that go the entire month. She's also taken care to, if the month has 31 days, there are 31 habit trackers. So it's not 31 every single time, like it would be easier production wise to just make them all the same, but she has made them all different. So look at the February one, it goes to 29. So this is obviously a leap year, we've just found that out. And then when you go to March, it is back to 31. And then April should be 30. So let's take a look at the last one. Yeah, isn't that neat? I really like it. And so this is a very minimalist look. When I first saw my first Laurel Denise, I just thought this reminds me of old timey office supplies. Doesn't it? Like just look at how that looks. It's so cool. But since I'm a sticker person, I and I opened an Etsy shop last year, I thought, what if we made some stickers for the Laurel Denise? Because I had not seen any at that time. Now there are plenty. There are several shops that sell Laurel Denise stickers. And I'll, I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. But every one of your months is going to look the same. 
And this is all codified now, meaning it's just the same across planners. The sizes are the same. So isn't this cool? Let's go on to the back. After December, we get a tab that says notes. So when you flip the notes section, you're gonna get a big column here for planning ahead and it's lined. And then you have 12 boxes for the months of 2025. And then you have a giant column here that's lined that says yearly wins. This is yearly lessons. I like how it didn't say yearly fails. It says lessons. I like that. And then these are both dot grid pages. Two more dot grid pages. Actually, no, let's don't call that dot grid because it's not. It's like graph paper. Sorry, it's not dot grid. That's graph paper. Then it's dot grid. One, two, three, four dot grid pages. And then at the very back of the planner, I love how this is functional and it's not just a decorative page. You have eight different boxes with headers that say books I'm reading, things I'm listening to, happy moments, gratitude, hobbies, ways I'm moving my body, I'm excited for, and I'm hoping for. So she's used every square inch of this planner. You have a whole other pocket on the back, and the pocket feels a little bit better this year than last year. We'll have to check that and see. It is O-ring binding, and it's just a classy looking item. Now, let's compare a couple of things before I show you something brand new. Yes, the pocket feels different. It's this year, it's a little bit more rubbery and flexible feeling to me. So I think it's probably something different. The ruler has changed. So this was like a fatter ruler last time um, that was the same width as those weekly spreads. But let me just show you what I was talking about with the monthly spread. So this was the horizontal planner, and if you get a horizontal planner this year, it will look very similar to this. So instead of those skinny vertical columns, if you have larger handwriting, this is what you're going to probably prefer. And Saturday and Sunday used to share that column on the right, and it was a Monday start. That was not my favorite. That was not my favorite. So I'm a big fan of the changes this year. On the back of this sheet, it was dot grid last year. And so I love the addition of the habit trackers. I think it's really neat. And sticker kits can be added to these. And the beauty of, at least from my point of view, I don't have time. I'm not like a full-time sticker shop owner, so I don't have time to make sticker kits that fit every variation of size as a planner. So the fact that the vertical and the horizontal are all going to have this same size is wonderful because it will, I've had lots of people ask me, will those be available? So yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of this. I think there are fewer notes pages in the back. I heard that discussed. Um, so keep that in mind. If you used all of these notes pages, which clearly I did not, um, you need to be aware of that. But there are some new things called pop-in panels. So this is last year. Remember, this is last year. Okay, so I want to show you something that I'm super excited about. And because I review a lot of planners, I am often dabbling in certain planners and I use them for a while or for a certain season of my life. And then I kind of switch over to another planner for a while. So, I mean, I, I that's no secret. Anybody who is a planner affiliate ha, sort of has that situation. But I had to, even though I'm not in the Laurel Denise all the time, I had to try this new folio. Look at this. She has come out with a folio specifically for this unique planner because it's not easy to find a folio that's just right for a planner of this orientation. So this is the brown one, but there's also a green one. And it comes with helpful instructions for how to insert the planner into these pockets. And then on the back, look how pretty that is. You could just keep that in there as a decoration. There are one, two, three, four pockets here, a larger sort of billfold size pocket there. And then this, you can either tuck the front cover of your planner in here or not, because you don't have to use this to keep the cover secure. You can just plop your planner down into this cover like this. You can just do that and use it to carry your planner. 
But if you want it to be, like I think that's what I will prefer. But if you want it to go down in here, she gives you directions for how to, you start with this pocket and you just put it part of the way in and it will be snug at first, but that leather will expand over time. And then you pull up the center and I'm getting really close to the camera, so I can't really do this here. Well, maybe I can actually. And as you have it pulled up, then you begin the process of putting the back cover into the back pocket. And as you lay it down, it will slide into the folio like that. That was a little bit awkward to do underneath the camera, but it's really easy to do if I, if I didn't have this camera right here in the way. So um, when you close it, I have to push it so I don't hit the camera. It will fit so nicely. And it has a gold zipper that I have not taken the little plastic wrap off yet. And it feels like it's real leather, but it's not. It's it's vegan leather, but it feels like real leather. There's also a beautiful solid green one. So this is a neat thing, and it's it's padded. It's got nice stitching around here. The zipper's gold, and I don't think it says anything on this zipper pull. No, it's just a classy looking zipper with the plastic that I need to take off of it still. But this is great. If you want to take your planner with you to work and on the go, you really probably want to consider getting this because this is going to protect it. And, I mean, you don't have to tuck it in like this, but, and I probably wouldn't. I would probably just keep it just setting in freely. There's a pocket over here on the back as well, like a little billfold pocket and a pen loop. So you could put, let's just try one of these. Put a little pen down in there and then you're good to go. Isn't this nice? I just think it's a really pretty, it's slim. So it is wide, but it's slim. So, you know, if you're the type of person whose brain works in such a way that you cannot compartmentalize the week away from your month, this is the a great planner for you because you can see everything at one time. You can plan week to week without losing the view of that month. So that is super duper cool. Okay, now I've got a few accessories with me that I can show you. Some of these are, well, they're all new-ish, but they're not new for 2024. They came out after the release of the 2023 planner. So she has this little set of four sticky notes that are these adorable little squares. So these are really fun because, you know, you saw how the spaces in there are not really conducive for big writers. So let's just say that I've got a lunch date at 12.30 on a particular day. It might be easier to write it on the sticky note and then stick it on that day. In fact, you probably wanna see me do that, don't you? There you go. So these are meant for the teacher planner, therefore they're not exactly the same width, but never fear because she has come out with a whole set of sticky notes. This is not it, but this is, this is one that will work well. But she's come out with a set of sticky notes on a big board like this. Look at this, it's super cool. For the vertical planner specifically, that will fit these little columns just right. And she's come out with one for the horizontal planner. So this one is general. This is just one that will work well probably with a bunch of them. But this was meant for the teacher planner, which has boxes that are exactly that size. Still, I wouldn't mind just sticking that on a day. But look at these little guys. I don't know if you can tell that these are little squares. Looky here. Is that cute or what? And this one is not even the one that is made specifically for the vertical planner. It's just, you know, it's the general one. Okay, and then that one's bigger. So you could actually do something, do some time blocking that is longer. And then this big guy right here is exactly what you want like here. Look how it fits perfectly. The edge of these pages is right here. And if you put that sticky note down, it fits in that dot grid space without going over that line. 
So it's a wonderful accessory to have. And then you've got these long sticky notes that can be used like um, either to go vertically in a vertical planner and you could put a little bit of adhesive on the back of them and just use it as a sticker if you wanted to. You could also block out several days on the monthly view with them. And so there's just all kinds of things that you could do with these sticky notes. But one thing in particular that I'm a fan of is just like writing. Let's do the lunch thing again with one of these. Lunch at 12.30. Now why I chose an inside box that's harder to get to, I don't know. There you go, lunch at 12.30 and I smeared it. Let's do a perfect one. In fact, I'm going to use my V5. This is my favorite thing to use in the Laurel Denise because it has such a fine tip. Let's use this side. Lunch at 12.30. So I would write directly on the page with this V5 and it would help me to make smaller letters because this is something that you're going to want to do if you have the vertical. Not to mention if you get the mini. There's a brand new mini that is a horizontal layout and I'm glad it's horizontal because can you imagine miniaturizing this vertical? That would really kind of be for tiny, tiny handwriting. But they do have a mini, so if this, if you like this concept but it's just too big for you, try the mini or just take a look at the mini and see what you think. But just be aware that everything is going to be miniaturized if you do that. Okay, so sticky notes are one thing that you wanna take a look at, especially the new ones, not the ones that I have, but the new ones. Another thing you might wanna take a look at are the Laurel Denise writing tools. So we've got some highlighters here, and look at this. They're so Laurel Denise. Look at this, they've got the hot pink and then they've got this kind of classic looking design on the barrel and the highlighters are so cool, they're so cool. All these different colors that are just beautiful and I loved this packaging so much with this little part here that I just left them in this because I just thought it looked really neat. And then likewise, these barrels look really cool. These are ultra fine tip markers and they still have a beautiful design on the barrel, a little bit of hot pink at the bottom that says Laurel Denise, and the tip looks like that. These would be terrific for also writing, um, let's say I've got to practice piano for several hours. This is not an hourly planner, but because it's lined, you could divide this into hours if you want to. You could definitely do that. So you get all these colors, they're so happy, so nice. So these are new-ish, but they're not brand new. The thing that's brand new is the new wet erase marker. So I think that's in a four pack. And those are important because now there are these things called pop-in panels. So the pop-in panels have this kind of an edge on them so that you can snap them onto this O-ring coil. And the pop-in panels come in a variety of options. There's Swirling Thoughts, that's the name of one, and they're all double-sided, by the way. So you have one functionality on the back, one on the front. Swirling Thoughts is one of them. Get Organized is one, Budget, and meal planner. So there are these four types of pop-in panels and you would want to use most likely one of those wet erase markers on it. Then with the sticky notes, like I said, you can get vertical and horizontal. Now let's say that you do not have your planner down in one of these folios and you're not going to use a folio, but you would like to have a little something with your planner to keep it closed. There are some brand new elastic pen pouches. So they come in two different designs and they are meant to fit around the planner vertically. So the pouch itself will be turned sideways. Um, it will hold your planner closed because it'll have a really nice elastic strap and then it will unzip and I think it will have like a hot pink interior or something hot pink-ish, something Laurel Denise-ish. And you can put all your little accessories inside that little pouch and keep your planner closed. So you might not wanna go the way of the folio. You might want something like that instead.
Okay, so we've gone over the covers that you can get for the vertical, which is what I have. If you decide to get horizontal because you want to write this way and you can't write in those teeny tiny columns, then you're going to have some different cover choices. Some are the same, some are different. The evergreen solid green one, the ocean breeze blue cover, the midnight or sort of charcoal looking cover, wildflower is only for the horizontal, and strawberry jam is only for the horizontal. And then if you decide you want the mini, which I don't have one here and I haven't seen one, but just judging from the pictures, I would say that the mini is something like maybe this tall or a little bit taller, and it probably goes out to about here, and it only comes in the evergreen color. So there's only one choice. I think that's an experiment this year to see how popular it is. And of course, those folios that I showed you come in brown or green. All right, so I have a tip for you. When you're navigating the website, first thing you wanna do to go to the Laurel Denise website is hopefully click on somebody's affiliate link. Mine is down in the video description, but that just takes you straight to Laurel Denise. When you get to the Laurel Denise website, it can be a little tricky to navigate. My tip is to, when you go to the home page, just look for the three bars up in the top left corner. Click on those, at least that's what it looks like on the iPhone. Click on those and that will give you a menu. And the best thing to click on to see everything that's new is just the new products up at the top. So you click on that and that will show you everything that I've been talking about and more. So these planners have already launched for 2024. I know a lot of people, once you get into the last quarter of the year, which is where we are about to be when we get to October, they have to go ahead and start putting some things in their planner for the following year. So it's great that they have already launched. So Laurel Denise, I love supporting Laurel Denise because not only is she just a fun and sweet planner girl with lots of creative ideas. She listens to her community. So you want to join the Facebook group called Laurel Denise Loves. And she listens to all of the feedback that she gets in that group. And whenever, I mean, I've seen this happen a couple of times, somebody will bring up a suggestion or an issue that they've had, and she is on it. It's almost like the wheels in her brain are constantly turning and she's coming up with the solution to every problem that somebody encounters or coming up with a new idea to make the experience of using her planner even more enjoyable and more functional and worthwhile for her customers. So I highly suggest joining that group. But the other thing is that she just lives a couple of hours away from me. So she's a Virginia girl like I am. Laurel Denise is based in Charlottesville, Virginia, and I am just two hours southwest of her. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these products. I know I enjoy playing with them. They are so unique, so fun and so full of the Laurel Denise personality. And I'm so excited for her now that she's become exclusively a planner company. You know, she used to be a jewelry company, but she has become exclusively a planner company now because her planners have been so popular. People love her. So I'm so excited for her and so excited with all the new developments and the growth of her company. So if you have any questions, please ask me. I will find out the answer for you if I don't already know it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.